So recently I decided to start making another game, but this time I wanted to make sure that it had replayability and that I'd be able to finish it in a week. So the first thing I did was look for a game jam and I found this one game a month game jam with the theme oil and water and I was like, okay, why not? The only issue is that I only had five days. Help! Help! <laughs> the sensitivity is so high. So I had no idea what I was doing in 3D and since I only had five days, I decided to just go back to 2D. So the whole thing with oil and water is that they don't mix. But when I first saw the prompt, I went straight over my head. So I just started making a game about a lantern. So the game quickly turned into kind of a dungeon crawler roguelike where you have to collect water to beat a level and collect oil to keep your light bright. But since I wanted the game to have replayability, I decided to make all the dungeons randomly generated. Nice, and now it's filled the whole time too. No issue. Yeah, because we have that buffer of three on the edge. And it looks pretty fucking random to me. Then after a few tweaks, the game was looking pretty good. I was feeling pretty lonely in my dungeon, so I added an enemy. Then at this point, I was getting pretty bored of how ugly the game looked, so I decided to add a bit of a tile set so it looked hopefully a little bit better. And then I went on a quest to find some good music. The year is 1991. Birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Until one day, a young man catches fire. This is that. Phoenix. So I have no idea what the fuck that thing is. But I found some decent music and I put it in. Then I started adding some sound effects. I then decided to turn my one enemy into a few different enemies to give some variety to the game. I added a spider that runs away when it sees light. I added a thwomp like thing that slowly follows you. And I added the classic, if you look at it, it freezes, otherwise it's following you. I worried the game was going to be too hard, so I decided to add a chest with power-ups, but the whole twist is that to open the chest you need oil, and if you use your oil to open the chest, then your light will dim significantly. Some power-ups I added were a fireball and a whistle that scares away thwomps. So at this point, the game was pretty much done. Uh, I finished it on the last day, and then I submitted it to the Game Jam. But I accidentally submitted it without any download links, and I went on a trip the very next day. And so my game never actually made it into the Game Jam with downloadable files. But if you're interested in playing it, there'll be a link in the description. I'd really appreciate if you'd like and subscribe. If you have any cool comments, give me a comment. And I'm thinking of making a new game, starting another one, but I'm not quite sure what to do. So if you have any ideas for a game that you think would be cool, go ahead and tell me what those are in the comments.